Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this talk. My name is Steve Williams. I'm one of the staff members of Greenford Baptist Church. I'm just going to share with you for a few minutes just a, a few things going on during this COVID period with me and hopefully to um, draw something from that. Well, yesterday I had one of those frustrating computer days. Have you ever had those? Where you uh, go to the computer, you press a button, and uh, it's quicker to write it with, out with a bit of paper than to type it out and print it out. Well, my computer had a problem the other day in which it said zero amount of memory left. So I checked my hard drive and it exactly said that, zero amount of hard drive memory left. So I had to go into the hard drive, try and find things to strip out of the uh, system and uh, delete them. And there wasn't much to, to do that with. So I'd done a, a system uh, defrag in which the computer hard drive and its um, system would look at every part of the computer and put it in order to gain hard disk space. So I tried that. But we'll come back to that in a minute. And, you know, in the Psalms 139, there's a passage which says, basically, God knows every bit about us. He knows how we were made. He knows how we were knitted together by himself. Before he was even born, he knew every day of our life. And uh, later on in that psalm, David says these words. Father God, search me. Look at my life. Is there anything in my life that needs to be sorted out? And like this computer, which I was talking about, in which I use this program to put things in order. We'll come back to the computer later on because it didn't quite work. Allowing God to search us and look at us in every part of our being to show us, is there anything I can do for you? Is there anything I can do more effectively? Is there anything in my life which is getting in the way? It says in Revelation 3.20, Here I am, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone invites me in, I will come in and eat with them and me with you. And the thing about it is that passage is basically saying if you allow God in, if you allow Jesus in, he will come in. And, you know, during this COVID time, it is a time of, I would say, reflection. We seem to have much more time on our hands. And uh, in this reflection, we can do one of two things. We can mull over things in life which are affecting us and which are, you know, wearing us down. Or we can do another thing. We can look at us and God and to see how can we do things better together. If you looked at my previous talk last week, I looked at Psalm 1, that's briefly. And Psalm 1 talks about how can someone keep their, their, themselves pure? And it basically says by spending time and meditating on his word, on the Bible. And by doing this, your roots will be like a tree which is uh, planted by a river. Its roots are being constantly fed by the waters. And uh, if we allow God, as it says in Psalm 139, to search us and show us areas in our life which can be enhanced and improved or things which we need to take out of our lives God can do so much more through us and with us so during this COVID time think of spending time with him and allow him to do a defrag as it called as the computer term says and um 
search every part of you. Now in Revelations it says that word about allowing him in. It's a matter of allowing him in to do those things in your life. Let's go back to that computer story, shall we? So I did this. I've done the defragging. I uh, tried to uh, uh, sort things out. And still after defragging it, the system said zero amount of memory. So it didn't work. And you know, when you press that computer button to open up a, a, a program and you press it once, you think this is slow. You press it again, you're thinking, gosh, this is really slow. Then you press it again and again and again, and then suddenly all these files do open up. One after the other, after the other, after the other, after the other. And you've got to close them all down again because the computer's finally catched up with your finger. Well, that's how slow my computer was. My finger was faster than the computer. So I realised I had to do something major with the computer. I needed to get a bigger hard drive to make it more effective so the programmes could work more efficiently. So this is what I did. I got a bigger hard drive. I cloned the software from the old hard drive to the new two terabyte hard drive. It took six hours, but once it was done, my cube computer was like super fast. I pressed a button and guess what happened? A document opened up and it was super, super fast, back to how it should be. And in fact, better than what it should be. Now, I honestly believe we've been created for one reason, and that reason is, is to know the person of Jesus. And when Jesus comes into our life, it's like this. Without him, uh, we are living a life which is, you know, doing our own thing, living the best we can in life. And um, thus trying to live with life, with what life uh, throws at us. But when he comes into our life, there is a major enhancement in what life's all about. When your eyes are open to realise there's more to life than just me, 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 me. It's me and God. And you look around you, you see the great things God has done. And, and it's like this. Like the hard drive, when you allow, when you uh, transfer it to a bigger drive, there is more and more things you can do. You can download more programs. You have more power to do things. And uh, you're basically enhanced the original uh, version of that hard drive. When Jesus comes into our life, he equips us to live life how it should be. So we're no longer on our own. You see, most other faiths, it is man trying to achieve things to get to God. But with Christianity, it's Jesus coming to this world to seek us out, to live here for 30 odd years, and to die on a cross, that the things in our life which separate us from God are forgiven for those who believe in him. John 3.16, that well-known passage says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that anyone who believes in him shall not die but have eternal life. You see, one of the enhancements of knowing Jesus is the reality of by putting him first in our lives and allowing him in, is that this life is temporary with a, a hope and a knowledge of eternal life. And that is an assurance which is guaranteed. And also, your daily life is changed because you look at things from a totally different point of view. Because you look at things from God's point of view, if you allow him to. 
And you know, don't get me wrong, Jesus is not no genie where you ask for things and things happen. Jesus does change things, but one of the greatest things he changes is our attitude and our mind and also our spirit as well. Because he reconciles that with God. But when you see things from a different point of view, the thoughts in our mind are no longer worries in our mind. Because you know the greater picture of who got, who's got, who has things under control. And don't get me wrong, God can help us through financial difficulties. God can heal thing, heal people, heal people miraculously. God can open and close doors, and He does. But it's not primarily about that. It's primarily realizing that we have a God who loves us so much that he died for us that we can have a relationship with God. There is nothing we can do in our own life by the things we do, the things we live, the um, the good things we may do, the good things we may say, the things we may give away to people to help them out. That's nothing. It's only Jesus, by God's grace, we can see and be with God. So the reason why I'm sharing this is this. My computer is in a much better position now because I've changed that hard drive. Allow God in. Allow him to do a full search of your system, your spiritual system, your physical system. Allow him to help you to be the person you are. And you know what, you're not on your own. Because the great thing about it is, he places himself within your life. He places his spirit within you to equip you, to be the person you are. And by that authority and power, you're able to do the things you need to do and meant to do for him. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for Jesus. We thank you that he died for us on that cross. We thank you for new life. Amen.